Okay, we have here another interesting integral. We have one over x cubed plus one dx. Okay, what I wanna do before I do anything here is let's look at our sum of two cubes formula. Okay, so we have this formula over here on the right for we have it as a cubed plus b cubed. So two cubes can be broken up like this. And we just wanna notice x cubed plus one, we can write this as one cubed, and then we can use this formula. So let's see how that's gonna look just breaking up, just focusing on our denominator. So if we have this, let's just match this form. We're gonna have x plus one, then we're gonna have an x squared minus x times one, we'll leave off the one, and then one squared is just one. Okay, the next I'm just gonna rewrite the integral, but we'll write our denominator in this form. Then next, I'm not sure exactly how to integrate this, but what I can do is set this up for partial fractions. What I'm gonna do is we'll rewrite this, but we're gonna separate this into two integrals. We're gonna have one, we're gonna have a over x plus one dx. And then the second one, we'll make our de denominator x squared minus x plus one. And then as this is a second degree term, we want our uh, numerator to be first degree. So we'll write this as bx plus c. And then from here, what we, all we need to do is we just need to solve for our a, b, and c. We have this equation. To do this, we just need to get a common denominator, and then we can solve so that everything in the numerator is gonna be equal to one. Let's see how this, let's set this up. So we're gonna have a times multiplying x squared minus x plus one on top and bottom here. We're gonna have x squared minus x plus one, plus we're gonna have our bx plus c. And to get a common denominator here, we multiply by an x plus one on top and bottom. So let's multiply by x plus one, and then this whole thing is just going to be equal to 1. Then I'm just going to distribute my a, and then I'm going to multiply this out. And now we just have kind of this long, messy expression. What I can do is simplify this. What I want to do is simplify this so we have our um, like terms together. And what we can do is we can write our right side. So like we can write this, we'll write this 1. We can write it as 0x squared plus 0x plus 1 so that we can compare like all the x squared terms to our 0x squared. So let me just get a little more space. Okay, so all I did here is I just reordered this. So I have my x squared terms here, my x terms here, and my constant terms here. And so we can just set up an equation. We can take our x squared terms and we can say that a plus b is gonna equal our zero here, that coefficient on the x squared. Then for these terms, we'll just say that b plus c minus a equals zero on the x terms here. And then a plus c has to be equal to one. And then we can just solve this however is convenient. So like, let's just take our first equation if a plus b equals zero, we can say that a equals minus b. Then I can take that and plug it into my second equation and get something like 2b plus c equals zero. And then we can do also plug in a negative b in our last equation. So we can say minus b plus c equals one. Then let's say I could subtract these two equations. So we're gonna get three b equals minus one. So we're gonna say b equals minus one third. Then plugging that in here, we're gonna say that a equals one third. And then for our c, we can plug our minus one third into this last equation. So then c has to be two thirds. So now that we have our a, b, and c, I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna plug it back in and continue with the integral. Okay, so all done here, we plugged in for our a, b, and c value, the values we found over here, and now we've set up our integral. So this first integral is just gonna be one third natural log absolute value x plus one. Okay, so next for this one I'm gonna do is we're gonna factor a minus one third out of this integral and we're gonna have x minus two in the numerator, just multi noticing that um, minus two times minus a third is just the two thirds. And then we're gonna have x squared minus x plus one dx. And then here, what I'd like to do, this is pretty good for a u substitution. If I make this u, just notice, okay, if this is u, the derivative is gonna be two x minus one. So to set this up and make it nice, what I'm gonna do is we'll multiply this by two, and then we'll multiply it by a half here, and then we'll rewrite this. We're gonna have one third natural log x plus one minus, okay, so this is a one sixth here, and then in our integral, we're gonna have two x minus four, two x minus four, but we only need, we're only gonna need a minus one, so I'm gonna write it as minus one minus three. I'm running out of space over here. So here we notice this, this piece here is gonna be set up for a perfect u substitution. We have this minus three hanging around. What I'm gonna do is split this into two integrals, clean up the board and continue. 
Okay, so now I've split this thing up. And then let's see what's next. I'm gonna do our u substitution that I mentioned before. So we'll call that our u, x squared minus x plus one. Then our du is just gonna be two x minus one. So then this whole thing right here, let's just focus on this integral. This is just gonna be du, sorry, we have a dx over here. This is gonna be du over u. So this is just gonna be ln of u. So let's bring down all this stuff. So we're gonna have one third natural log x plus one minus one six natural log of u, but u is just this thing. So we're gonna have x squared minus x plus one here. And then here, I notice, let's just get this minus three out of here. So what I can do is we can bring it out and multiply this times this minus one six and we'll just have plus a half. And then now for this, I think the only thing I've left to do here is just to complete the square. So let's just focus on this piece. We're gonna have, let's write our denominator. We just want half of this coefficient here, this one. So we'll have x minus a half squared. Just noticing that when we, if we square that out, we have x squared minus x plus a fourth. We want a one, so let's add a three over four here. And then what I want to do is we're getting to our arctan formula, but to do that, let's write this as in a square root, all squared. But what is that going to be? That's going to actually be square root of three over two when we take the square root of that. So let's just rewrite that real quick. Okay, and I think we're ready to integrate this, but what we're going to do is use this formula down here, our arctan formula. If we have something in the form u squared plus a squared, it's going to be one over a tan inverse u over a. So like our u is going to be this piece and here's going to, this is going to be our a and this is going to be our u. Let's just focus on it down here. So I'm going to have my half out front and then we're going to have one over our a value, which is square root of three over two. We'll clean it up later. Then we'll have tan inverse our u, which is x minus one half over our a, which is square root of three over two. And I think we can see a two is gonna cancel here. So when we bring this into the numerator, let's write this in our final solution. Okay, so our two cancels here, so we're gonna have one over square root of three arctan bringing the two into the denominator into the numerator we're going to have 2x minus 1 over square root of 3 plus c and we're done again so very simple looking integral long complicated looking answer anyway thank you everyone for watching appreciate it please like and subscribe have a great day